bad weather, rush hour traffic, the state of the economy. These are some of the things over which people have no control. But when it comes to what we buy, we have the power to ensure what we pay for is what we get. If there is a problem, take it right back to the store and have the product replaced or get your money back. Now, what happens if you've tried that and we're not satisfied with the response? Your next step, the Consumer Affairs Division. The Consumer Affairs Division, which is now under the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Investment, functions primarily to assist consumers in investigating complaints. We also advise consumers on their rights and their responsibilities. We undertake to educate consumers on various aspects of consumerism. The division operates two main departments, the Consumer Protection Services and the Consumer Research Unit. The Consumer Protection Services receives complaints on a daily basis. We also re receive inquiries from consumers. So we are there to advise consumers. Again, advise them on their rights, advise them on their responsibility. Also, advise them as uh, some of the practices that may be detrimental to their interests. Consumers have rights. If you buy an item that has a problem, such as a manufacturer's defect, it is your right to compensation. You also have the right to choose. If you buy something and find a similar product for less at another location, by all means, return the original for a refund. Additionally, you have the right to be provided with information on goods that you buy. For example, correct usage and warranty details. Teaching consumers about their rights is one side of the work of the division, which is supported by the Consumer Research Unit, Director of Research, Project Management Unit, Simone Mora Quinones explains. Research on emerging trends in consumer behavior, commercial practices, the assessment of quality of some um, specific goods and services. We also undertake research on significant consumer issues, for example, consumer complaints or price monitoring. And from the, the data that we receive from the research, we would prepare reports and those reports would be used to inform consumer policy. To achieve its mandate, to improve the quality of life by promoting consumer awareness and assertiveness, the division works hand in hand with its various stakeholders. We realized that we got a lot of complaints on a particular type of product. We would purchase the product, engage the services of the Bureau of Standards and they would test the product according to standards. Standards may be voluntary or mandatory. Through that testing, we are able to state which is the best product in terms of value, in terms of price, value, quality, and which is the worst brand. We also inter uh, interact a lot with the Supermarkets Association of Trinidad and Tobago in that we collect prices. So our officers go on the field on a monthly basis where they collect prices and we look for trends, we look at if, if prices are increasing, we would recommend to the Minister of, with Responsibility for Consumer Affairs what should be done if we think it's an unfair raise in price. Normally the Minister would call in the Supermarkets Association to and Tobago and have a discussion and in most times we, we look at, at minimizing the increase in, in the prices. Because it bears repeating, Mr. Morgan outlined the main right of the customer and how to proceed if you're not satisfied with a product. The rights of consumers are the right to obtain redress. And that is if you buy a product and that product has a manufacturer's effect or it is not of merchantable quality or acceptable quality, the consumer has a right to complain. And once they complain, they go to the supplier and if the supplier does not satisfy their request, which is to get a refund, then they can lodge a complaint at the Consumer Affairs Division who will undertake to investigate.